So, if hindi pa kayo nakakapag-subscribe, please click the subscribe button and click the notification bell for more updates from us. Hello, good morning everyone. So, my, my name is Ren from Yare. And sorry, medyo matagal kami hindi nakapag-upload ng bagong video kasi sobrang busy lang lately. So, this particular vlog, it, it is entitled Cancel Korea Final Episode. Um, we're doing this because of the Korean viewer that we had. Um, if you can remember, may in-upload tayong video about Cancel Korea and it was entitled Episode 1. Um, it's about the issue or the tension between the Koreans and the Filipinos because of Bella Forge tattoo. And the only reason why we are having this final episode and video, though it hasn't, this particular topic hasn't been brought up recently sa online um, social media. Pero ayun nga, ginagawa namin to para sa special viewer namin. Okay, so in English, we're doing this for our special viewer, which is a Korean. So his name is Nick. Um, if you can go back to our previous video about Cancel Korea, may mga comment siya doon na medyo madamdamin. Okay, so Nick, this video is for you. And if you are familiar with the place, with the background, um, this is the famous Jeju Island in South Korea, one of their very famous island. Okay, so going back to our topic, um, as you can remember, Bella Porge made a video on Twitter. Oh no, I'm sorry, in TikTok with a tattoo, a Japan Japanese um, flag tattoo. And as we all know, this is not just about Bella Porge, pero unfortunately, uh, medyo tinarget din nila yung mga Filipino citizens. So, we as Filipinos are known to be matatapang or brave in English. So, we did not let these remarks just pass us by. So, we fought back and hence created the Cancel Korea tagline in Twitter. Which is hindi rin naman maganda. And as you can see, makikita nyo yung comment ni Nick. It created some reactions on him. And he really didn't comment it just to justify the wrongdoings of his fellow Koreans. But he also wanted to let us know what really happened behind that. That's why they do have these emotions towards that flag or tattoo. Okay, so I've been talking about this Korean boy. And you can see his profile in YouTube down there. And... Ito, um, I will paste his initial reaction. So, actually, makikita nyo rin to dun sa vlog namin na Cancel Korea. So, ito, tingnan, basahin natin yung naging reaction niya towards dun sa comment ni Mama. Si Mama kasi minsan ang daming comment. Tarot. <laughs> so, ito na. Okay, and that reaction started a new friendship between me and him. So we started to have email exchanges. And based on our email exchanges, he did not have that certain reaction to justify or defend the misbehavior of his fellow Canadian, I mean, fellow Koreans. But um, he just wanted to let the Filipino knows or the rest of the world knows how Koreans suffered from the hands of the Japanese soldiers before. So, that way, he even requested for me to create this particular vlog to educate the people. So, friends, please feel free to read his not-so-long email. Okay, 
So thanks for that very informative email, Nick. So and yun nga parang it's not necessary for us to have this online war because pare pareho lang naman tayo ng mag naging past or history. As you can see, there's no need for us to argue because we all have the same dark history. So ayun nga para lang sa mga kababayan namin Filipino natin mga Pinoy. So I don't think issue rin naman issue pa rin naman sa kanila yung past bilang mga Pilipino madali tayo maka-move on. Pero I think as just a respect para sa mga Korean friends natin. I think they really have this particular emotions towards it. So, ayun na lang. I-stop na natin ito kung ano man yung mga naging hurtful words na nasabi natin sa isa't isa. Kasi, ayun nga, pare-pareho lang naman pala tayo ng pinagdaanan. And Nick, as what I'm saying, we almost experienced the same in the hands of these Japanese soldiers before. So, I don't think there's really a need for us to argue about this. Anyway, so we wanted this vlog to be really fair to everyone, not just to the Filipinos or to the Koreans, but also to our Japanese friends. Kasi siguro naman nakikita na natin ngayon kung ang laki ng pinagbago ng Japan and ng mga Japanese people. And we can see how, how they discipline their children right now. And ayun nga, sobrang idol din namin sila sa way ng pagdidisiplina nila sa mga bata. I'm sure mas lalo pang magiging maganda yung behavior ng mga Japanese in the future. And ganun din yung behavior nila towards other countries. Japan had really evolved in different ways, especially in their culture and how they inject good, ma- good manners to their children. So yun na lang yung panghawakan natin. I'm sure mas magiging maganda pa yung relationship nila towards other countries in the future kasi nga sobrang solid ng foundation na binibigay nila sa mga kabataan nila ngayon. So hopefully this will be the final episode really the final episode <laughs> regarding this topic and Nick, I hope I was able to satisfy you with this video and with that, we would like to leave you with this particular quote. So it says here, the purpose of our lives is to be happy So that's the famous quote from Dalai Lama. So Dalai Lama is the highest spiritual leader in Tibet and is considered to be a living Buddha. Okay. So ayun nga guys, thank you for um Dalai Lama for that wonderful quote. Um let's just all be happy. Ako, I will not recommend for us to forget our past kasi ako naniniwala ako the past will always be there to guide our present and future decisions in life. So ayun nga, panghawakan na lang natin kung ano man yung mga past na yan. Okay lang yan. So ayun, um, thank you for watching our video. By the way, this is cream. So cute, bagong ligo. So ayun, on our, on our next vlog, kasama ko na si Iyas. So if hindi pa kayo nakakapag-subscribe, please click the subscribe button and click the notification bell for more updates from us. Ayun, so inaantok na po si Cream. So, dito na lang yung video. So, thank you for watching and have a great day. So, let's all be happy. Say bye! Bye, everyone!